Just looking at the numbers often does not help us make sense out of these. For example, for each company here, we have their total income and it's a little difficult to see if there's a considerable variation in these numbers. So what we could do is select the numbers that we want to look at and apply conditional formatting. Conditional formatting lets us add colors, bars or icons to each cell element based on its value. For example, if I choose data bars, I can have a bar chart of various colors added to these cells and the size of the bar is based on the value of the cell. In this case, I'm going to add a bar in yellow That's that does not have a gradient and it becomes very easy to spot that Reliance and Indian Oil are much larger than the other companies. Hindustan Petroleum is somewhere in the middle and then it's a very steady uh, <laughs> descent below that. Another way of formatting these is by use of color. For example, if I use conditional formatting and apply a color scale, this color scale uses green for the highest values, red for the lowest values and yellow for the in-between values in a continuous gradient. So it's quite easy to spot here that uh, <coughs> Bharat Heavy Electricals has the lowest profitability and Chennai Petroleum has the highest profitability. Without needing to sort the data, we can quickly see which are the higher, lower values and also uh, spot the areas of unusual dips or rises. Conditional formatting also allows a number of other formats such as the use of icon sets. For example, if I were to look at profits and select uh, conditional formatting icon set. <coughs> oh, what this does is adds an icon of green to the highest cells uh, of uh, red to the lowest cells and yellow to the in between cells. By default, the cutoff is chosen by Excel, but you have the option of changing how these cutoffs work as well, which I will be explaining shortly.